All right, a top story at 7. Fairfax County Police set to release the body cam footage from the shooting death of a man at Tyson's Corner. Timothy McCree Johnson was shot and killed by police after allegedly stealing sunglasses in the mall. Fox 5's Bob Barnett is live at Fairfax County Police Headquarters with the latest on this. Bob, good morning. Hey, Jeanette, Steve, good morning to you. We may find out later today why the officers felt compelled to shoot Mr. Johnson uh, just outside Tyson's Mall uh, back on February 22nd. That was a, a little more than a month ago. Uh, that body camera footage is set to be released at 1 o'clock from uh, the police chief, Kevin Davis, here at police headquarters, and then it will be shared on social media. Do want to take you back to that night. It was a Wednesday night. Uh, according to police, they got a call from security that their uh, systems had gotten triggered by a customer who allegedly stole sunglasses from the Nordstrom store there. Uh, police chased Mr. Johnson, Timothy Johnson, 37 years old from the district, into those woods and shot him. It turned out he was not armed. We don't know why the officers felt compelled to, to fire their weapons, but uh, Mr. Johnson's family has seen the body camera footage, and their lawyer says he did nothing to warrant being shot. Fairfax County police have been investigating for the past month. Again, no weapon was found. The Commonwealth's attorney here in Fairfax, Steve Descano, says his office is investigating as well, deciding whether to pursue charges against the two officers said to be officers who were assigned to that area to patrol around Tyson's Corner Center, uh, who are seven- and eight-year veterans with the department and are currently on administrative leave, guys.